This presentation is brought to you by the W.P. Carey School of Business Online Learning Group at Arizona State University. I'm Steve Salick, Director of Online Learning for the W.P. Carey School of Business, and in this episode of Countdown to Learn, we're going to begin to take a closer look at the individual components of Blackboard Learn, and today we're going to start with the course menu. The Blackboard course menu is still a central tool that you and your students will use to navigate through the course to visualize different components, assignments, and information. When the editing mode of your course is off, you're seeing the same course menu that your students are seeing. You may notice a new row of icons on the top of the course menu. These icons let each individual user arrange the appearance of the menu to suit their personal preferences. The first icon, List View, displays the menu as it normally appears, simply a list of links to each course component. The second item, Folder View, allows your users to break the menu down into a series of folders. If there is material in the folders, for example assignments, they'll be able to see each individual item beneath that folder. And the final icon, Refresh, will simply refresh and update the course menu. When you turn the editing toggle on, you'll be given access to a whole new set of tools in the course menu. The first thing you'll notice is an additional icon appears at the top of the menu, a plus. This plus will allow you to add additional items to the course menu. When you move your mouse over the plus, you'll be given a list of different content types and tools that you can add to the course menu. Today, I'm going to create a content area, so I'll click on that. It asks me to name the content area. I'm going to call this one Readings. You'll also note there's a checkbox here to make it available to users. If you fail to check this checkbox, the menu item will be added to your course menu, but the users will not see it. It's also important to remember that when you add content items, that is areas in which you put readings, material tests, and other types of content, if it's empty, if you don't put any content into that content area, it'll appear on the course menu when the editing toggle is on, but the students will not see it as long as that area is empty. Go ahead and click on Submit, and you'll note that it adds my readings to the bottom of the list. You'll notice two small icons by the readings. The first icon lets me know that the area is empty and isn't going to be seen by the student. The second icon is simply letting me know that this menu item won't be seen by users because I didn't check the Available to Users box when I created the item. I can fix that now by using the Action button to the right of the menu item. When I click on the Action button, it'll give me some options. I'm simply going to check on Show Link, and the second icon will disappear. You'll notice, however, that the first icon is still there. That's because I haven't added any readings to this area yet. So although it's on my course menu, when I'm editing the course, the students won't see it. Let's say I want my readings link right after Xanadu. With Blackboard Learn, that's much easier to do. It's simply drag and drop. Just mouse over the arrows to the left of the item, and drag it up under Xanadu. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to take a minute to preview my course menu. Notice that course materials, readings, and library are marked as not being visible to students. I'm going to turn the editing toggle for the course off. With the editing toggle off, I'm seeing the course menu in student view. Notice that course materials, readings, and library are not visible to the students. I'm going to go back and finish editing my menu by adding a reading to the readings area. I'll begin by switching the course editing toggle on, clicking on readings, creating an item, and then I'll add the item as though it were any other content object. I'll name it. I'll browse for a file, and I'll submit it. You'll note that once the file submitted, the icon next to Readings that states it's invisible to students has disappeared. If I go back and preview the menu one final time by switching the editing toggle off, you'll notice that Readings is now on my course menu. And that's the Blackboard Learn course menu in less than five minutes. Thanks for watching.